people all around me all the time would say like, oh, you're such an amazing singer. And that became my identity in a lot of ways, was like, I'm the singer. When I was 12 years old, I ended up getting signed to a record label. I felt like I had the world promised to me. You're gonna make it, you're gonna be the next this. I'm like, cool, yeah, just kind of going with the motions. But there were some things that happened within the label where someone else kind of came in and took over and didn't really believe in me the same way. I was just really confused of why they, they didn't see what I thought that I had, and that was it. I didn't have a record deal anymore. After that, every executive that I would talk to, there was always some reason why they didn't want to sign me. You're so reserved, you're too shy, quiet, loosen up a little bit. They wanted me to be this outgoing, bubbly personality, which I just, I didn't have. And that's when I really started comparing myself to other people. The thought came up to try out for American Idol. I made it pretty far, but ended up getting uh, sent home. This isn't just one door closing, this is like another door out of all these other doors that have closed in my face, and I was so devastated. I was the singer who, if I failed, then people would be disappointed. That's when I went back into my room, my childhood room, and um, I started to journal a lot. I wrote about confusion, feeling different, getting out these emotions I've never been really good at explaining. It was just kind of this messy book of just all my thoughts, and I would even write down prayers. Lord, like, guide me. I don't know who I am without singing. You know, if, if I'm not a singer, then if this doesn't work out, what am I? What am I gonna do? So to my 12-year-old self, I would tell that little girl who feels she's too shy or not bubbly enough or you know doesn't have the right look or not pretty enough or that your life is, is boring or that you have a boring personality that that's just a lie and it's not true. And you're being built up into the woman that God wants you to be. And it might, it might take a while, but one day you're gonna grow into your own skin and just be be the girl that God uniquely made as you. And you don't have to compare yourself to anybody. Those moments in my bedroom, when it was just me and my notebook, that's when I really got into songwriting more. I felt like I had something to say now. Um, instead of other people giving me words to say, now I finally had these emotions that I was carrying. I picked up the guitar, started to put my own original music out online, and it was this, this kind of slow building process that wasn't forced, there was no you know, you gotta be this, and you, you gotta try this, and you know, you gotta try to have this different personality. I didn't have to change myself, I could just be myself. And finally just saying, okay, God, you said you have a plan for my life, so I'm just gonna trust that. And even if it means that I don't get famous or anything, I'm just gonna surrender all of this to you, put it in your hands. And I think once I did that, that's really when doors started opening. I continued to put out different videos online, just original music, and next thing I knew, I was signed again to another record label. 
and put out a full-length album, which I had never done. Daytime TV, morning shows, sold out tours, perform, and be nominated for a Grammy. That still blows my mind. And be the voice of an elephant in an animated movie called Sing. And that was just another dream come true. Philippians 3, verse 7 and 8 says, all these things I consider as loss compared to knowing Jesus Christ. I don't believe that every single day wholeheartedly, but that I think is the goal, is to really look at my life and be like, okay, if all of this went away, would I still be okay with just Jesus and all of the things that he offers? And and I, I would say yes, I, I would be okay because he's just, he's everything. Through Christ, I can just be myself and just be surrounded by his love. I'm Tori Kelly and I am second.